lonke ku speaklevel.com igama lami ngumntando ngiyathaba kakhulu ukuba lami lapha namhla that means welcome to speaklevel.com my name is Ndando and i'm so pleased to be here with you today in today's lesson we'll be learning about family me and my family mina lemuliami say it with me mina Lemuli Yami. Good job. Let's get into it right away, shall we? Okay. Um, let's begin with learning a few words to do with me and um, other people that you would be able to use to talk about you and your family. Okay. Let's start by learning me. The word in Debele for me is Mina. Say it with me. Mina. The word for with me is lami. Try it with me. Lami. Good. Um, if you want to say I in Debele, you would say ni. Say it with me. Ni. Good. When you're talking about other people, um, when you want to say you, you would say wena. Say it with me. Wena. If you want to say with you, you would say la we. Say it with me. La we. Very good. If you want to say you, plural, like there's many people, more than just one, and you're addressing them, you, plural, is lina. Say it with me. Lina. Good. Um, with you, plural, is lani. Say it with me. Lani. Good job. Okay. Um, if you're talking about us or we, you use the word Tina. Say it with me. Tina. Good job. Um, with us is Lati. Say it. Lati. These are easy words, aren't they? So you just need to try and remember them. Um, the word for them in Debele is Vona. Say it with me. Vona. Good. The word for with them is Lavo. Say it with me. Lavo. Good job. You're doing very well. Now, let's learn the words for names. The word in Debele, or two words actually in Debele for name is Irizo. Both of them mean the same thing. They mean a name. Say it with me. Iriso, literally what you are called by, and Igama. Did you get that? Iriso and Igama. Okay, and the word for a surname or the last name or your family name would be Isivongo. Did you get that? Say it with me. Isivongo. Good job. All right, let's learn a few words and phrases that you can use um, generally when you're talking about yourself and your family. Okay, um, let's start with a very common one, one that you definitely want to know, especially when you'll be talking to people, uh, and that would be, what is your name? Um, the phrase in Lewele for what is your name is, Ibizolako Mubani. Say it with me. Very good. Remember that another way of saying name is Igama, so you could also say Igama Lako Mubani. Igama Lako Mubani. Very good. All right, so if someone asked you what is your name, obviously what you're going to say is my name is, my name is Ndando, so I would say my name is Ndando. So I'm going to say, Iviso Lami Mu Ndando. Now fill in your name in that place, okay? Let's try it together. Iviso Lami Mu Ndando. Did you do it? Very good. You could also say, Igama Lami Mu Ndando, or your name, right? So remember, Iviso and Igama are the same thing. Okay, someone could ask you, 
what is your last name or what is your family name? And they would do that by saying, Isivongo Sako Nesago Bani. What is your family name? What is your surname? What is your last name? Isivongo Sako Nesago Bani. Good. Did you do that? Very good. Okay. And the way you would respond to that is by saying, Isivongo Sami Nesago and then you put in your family name. So let's say my family name was Moyo. I would say, Isivongo Sami Nesago Moyo. Now let's do it together with you putting your surname or your family name in at the end there. Okay? Try it with me. Remember to put your name. Okay. Isivongo Sami Nesago Moyo. Did you put your name? Good job. That's how you say my surname is. Okay, now um, if you want to say I want, you would say Nifuna. Say it with me. Nifuna. I want. If you want to say I don't want, you would say Anifuni. Try that with me. Anifuni. Mm -mm. Anifuni. Very good. Okay, if you want to say, I will, you say, Niza. Try it with me. Niza. If you want to say, I won't, you say, Ani Soze. Try it with me. Ani Soze. Good job. All right, let's do the word for I like or I love. You would say, Nitanda. Try it with me. Nitanda. And if you don't like something, you say, Anitandi. Say it with me. Anitandi. So if you notice, there's a little bit of a pattern there. When um, you want to say, I don't want, I don't want, you would say, Ani. When you want to say, I, something, I like or I want, you say, Ni. Okay? You notice that in I want, nifuna, I don't want, anifuni, I will, niza, I won't, anisoze, okay? All right, I like or I love, nitanda, and I don't like, anitandi. So there's ni and ani, okay? So um, now let's learn a few words about people and their terms and what we call them, all right? Um, a man in the rele is indoda. Say it with me. Indoda. That's the word for a man. If you wanted to say mister, you would say numzana. Say it with me. Numzana. Sometimes when you're reading or when you're uh, in, in written discourse, um, you will see the abbreviation mnu, M N U in the dot. That's similar to Mr. In, that you see in English. So um, the real word, the full word for Mr., um, that would be M-I-S-T-E-R, and the really would be Numzana. But the abbreviation that you usually see, M-R, would be Mnu. Say it with me. Mnu. Okay. Um, and a male person, you would say, Umuntu Wesilisa. Say it with me. Umuntu wesilisa. That means male, male person. Okay, let's do ladies. All right, a woman is umfazi. Say it with me. Umfazi. That's the word for a woman. If you wanted to say missus, you would say mkosikazi. Try it with me. Mkosikazi. Good job. All right. Miss or a, a young lady that's not married would be Nkosigazana. Say it with me. Nkosigazana. Okay. That's miss. And now the word for a female person would be Umuntu Wesifazana. Say it with me. Umuntu Wesifazana. Good. 
All right, the word for a baby in Lebele is ingane. Say it with me. Ingane. Good job. The word, the word for a child in Lebele is umtwana. Say it with me. Umtwana. Good. The word for children, many children, is aba mtwana. So you put aba before that. That makes it a plural. Aba mtwana. Good. All right. Um, now, uh, a sibling would be umfowetu. Say it with me. Umfowetu. Good. Um, if you wanted to refer to a spouse, like your husband or your wife, um, you would say umgako. That is your spouse, umgako. If I wanted to say my spouse, I would say umgani, my husband or my wife. Umga ni. Okay? All right. There are two words for relatives in general in Lebele. And the first one is isi klovo. Say it with me. Isi klovo. Yes, that means a relative, a family member. Another word for relative or family member um, or a relation, a family relation is isi ni ni. Say it with me. Isi ni ni. Very good. Okay. Now, the word for family is imuli. Say it with me. Imuli. Good. Are you getting all this? I know you are. All you need to do is go back and practice. Practice, practice makes perfect. Okay. Now, the word for to give birth to is zala. Say it with me. Zala. Good. If you want to uh, say that um, you were born to, you would say zelwe. So the word for born to is zelwe. Okay. Or born by. You're doing very well. Now we're going to get to the good part. We're going to learn some vocabulary. Um, of the things or the names that we call our family members. All right, let's start with the uh, the best ones: your mom and your dad. Okay, so the word in Debele for dad is um, or father or dad is Uvava. Say it with me, Uvava. The word for mother or mom is Umama. Say it with me. Oh, mama. That one is pretty universal. The word for a son, if you have a son or you had a son or if you are a son, you would say um, indodana. So a son is indodana. Okay? A daughter is indoda gazi. Say it with me. Indoda gazi. Good. Um, the firstborn would be Izibulo. Say it with me. Izibulo. Good. All right. Um, the word in Lebele for a brother is either umfowetu or ubudi. Say it with me. Umfowetu or ubudi. That's brother. Sister in Lebele is either Udade where to? Say it with me. Udade where to? And usually we just say udade for short. Or you could say usisi. Say it with me. Usisi. Okay. Um, the word for a sibling, which we learned just now, is umne where to? All right. But there's a word that we use in Debele referring to your either your younger brother or your younger sister. Generally, any of your younger siblings, you would say, umnawami. Say it with me. Umnawami. You getting this? Very good. All right. Now, the word in Debele for um, your aunts and uncles um, are a little bit complicated because it's classified depending on whether that aunt or uncle is um, either your mother's 
uh, brother or sister or your father's brother or sister okay so let's start on um, let's start with the uncles all right so your uncle on your mother's side which would be your mother's brother all right would be Uma Lume say it with me Uma Lume okay that's your uncle on your mother's side so that's all your mother's brothers would be Uma Lume um, on your father's side there's a distinction between the younger brothers or the older brothers. So the uncles, which are your father's younger brothers, would be Ubaba Omnani. And that literally means my younger father, all right? Um, because in Debele, um, they're all your parents. You know, there's no real distinction. So um, the distinction would be my younger father. That's the, the brother that is younger than your dad, all right? And then any brothers that are older than your dad would be Obabom Dala. So that's literally my older father, okay? Obabom Dala. So you've got Ubaba, your father. Then you've got Ubabom Nani, my younger uh, father, which would be your, your dad or your father's younger brothers. And then you have Ubabom Dala, which would be your older father so those are your father's older brothers okay now on the aunt side the aunt that is your father's sister all right any of your father's sisters are all called ubaba gazi say it with me ubaba gazi okay so those are the aunts that are your father's sisters all right and then the aunt that is your mother's younger sister would be umama umnane. Say it with me. Umama umnane. And the aunts that are your mother's older sisters would be umama umdala. Say it with me. Umama umdala. You got that? Um, just go rewind and listen to that again so that you understand the different classifications. So it's different whether they're your mother's sister or your bro father's uh, brother or sister, um, you just have to classify and call them the right thing. <laughs> um, sounds a bit complicated, but once you get the hang of it, you'll understand it completely. Okay, um, now the word in Debele for a cousin is umzawami. Say it with me, umzawami. Good. The word for a niece or a nephew is Umzugulu. Say it with me. Umzugulu. Good. Um, the word for grandmother is ukoko. Say it. Ukoko. And the word for grandfather is ukulu. Say it. Ukulu. The word for great grandparent is ukoko. Say it with me. Ukoko. Very good. All right, now let's say you get married and you have a father and a mother-in-law. Your father-in-law would be Ubaba Zala. Say it with me. Ubaba Zala. Your mother-in-law would be Umama Zala. Say it with me. Umama Zala. Okay? So all these classifications were very important in Debele culture and um, how we relate to each other as family. Um, let's do a few more, okay? Um, a son-in-law would be umkwenyana, okay? So someone marrying our daughter um, into our family, we call him umkwenyana. And um, a daughter-in-law, if we were uh, taking um, a young lady and she is marrying into our family, we would call her Umalugazana. That's a daughter-in-law, Umalugazana. All right. And a brother-in-law would be Umkwenyetu. Say it with me. Umkwenyetu. And sister-in-law would be Umlamu. Say it with me. Umlamu. Great. Um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Now, I know that the classifications, they're very different to English, but that's what makes the Ndebele culture such a beautiful thing because um, there's such beautiful dynamics and different ways 
of referring to people and those give those people a certain um, level of respect and love um, when you refer to people using those terms and those names. So go back over this lesson and learn these things and learn how to call the different members of your family by their correct names in their belly. All right. Um, it's time for me to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed learning about you and how to speak about your family as much as I enjoyed teaching it. Nizalivona Pambili, I will see you up ahead. Salani Gushe, Yimi Undando. Bye bye for now.